rebuild and really damaged um, damaged land across from Red, Bexley Red Zone to build my house. They had to um, dig about, f oh, it was quite a wee way, a couple of metres down um, and backfilled it with shingles. So it came to quite a big cost of like $40,000 or something in the end. So they're claiming they want the land claim because it costs them a lot of money to do that to put the house back. Is that Does that justify their right to have that land claim money or not? Or they should have done it anyway? Um. One thing that you could do would be to look at the building consent documents yep. with the council and because if that work was required under the building consent then that's a modification to the house according to the High Court. Yep. And it was all part of the consent, yeah, part yeah. Of the and you could also have a look at all of your EQC land claim information and see where EQC identified the land damage and if there is not a connection between the land damage and the work that the insurer did, then no, they're not entitled to it. I'm just wondering what reasonable grounds could an insurer have for requesting the land <coughs> Um, the main example that I've come across in the work I've done is that in Christchurch there are a number of sites that have contaminated land and when you remove contaminated land the dumping charges are higher than usual because you have to take it to a specific site. In addition to that you sometimes need to apply for a resource consent which means that you would incur extra costs. So in that situation I think there would be justification for an assignment of a land claim, but possibly not all of it. Because you have to remember that land claims also include claims for retaining walls and bridges as well. So if someone's doing work by removing landfill, even if it's contaminated, but part of the claim is for retaining walls, then they would not be entitled to all of it. John, I might just ask a quick question, and this is just based on um, some of the people that have come into the hub with inquiries around deed of assignment. Um, would there be a justification in any case for an insurer to ask for the deed of assignment for a land claim after a rebuild or repair has been completed? Yeah, mine's sort of like that. Mine, I originally signed one. Now they say they've lost it, so now they want to be assigned a new, a new one. So now it's interesting, do I have to really sign it because I signed it in the first place, and now they've lost it, does it not stand anymore? I think what you would do in that situation is say that the onus is on the insurer to establish reasonable grounds and invite them to provide you with information that does so 